Big day today here, the 2024 presidential campaign hit Indian Hill this afternoon. Former President Trump held a fundraiser here today before he heads south tonight. Now joined by Ohio U.S. Senator J.D. Vance, WLWT News 5's John London has been covering the story all day. And he joins us live in Indian Hill where this private event closed a long stretch of Drake Road. And John, pretty pricey for those who attended. Very pricey, and with Trump in town, authorities made sure he was kept invisible to the media here in Indian Hill, at least. This was as close as they would let media get Drake Road, where it intersects with Indian Hill Road. Uh, those who gathered here to try to catch a glimpse of the Trump entourage came away empty. Uh, it apparently came down Varner Road. Take a look here, the former president arriving at CVG, where some supporters were gathered to greet him. And as word spread that he was en route to Indian Hill, neighbors and the curious were part of the scene, which contributed to sort of a log jam of traffic at the intersection where the road was blocked off. Trump held a high donor dollar gathering at the home of Peggy and Gary Johns, a reported $50,000 per plate luncheon, an opportunity for one time never Trumper, now forever Trumper, Senator J.D. Vance, to demonstrate fundraising prowess and perhaps raise his running mate potential even higher. Here's what Secretary of State Frank LaRose told us about that a few hours ago. Oh, I think it'd be a great thing. I think it'd be a great thing to have an Ohioan uh, as the vice president, uh, and I think J.D. would be an excellent choice for that. Of course, the choice is up to President Trump and, uh, and him alone. Uh, I know that he's very carefully vetting uh, these candidates. He's got very high standards for that, and, and um, my anticipation is that we'll find out uh, in due course, probably certainly before the convention occurs, and um, you know, we'll, we'll see what choice he makes. But I think a, a, a choice of J.D. Vance would be an excellent choice. And Vance appears to be doing all he can to raise his VP profile. Mar-a-Lago on uh, over the weekend, Manhattan on Monday, and now Indian Hill in just the past few days. A reminder of the gravitational pull that Trump has in Ohio. His endorsements of Vance two years ago and Bernie Moreno uh, this year put them both across the finish line. Uh, Vance for the Senate and uh, Moreno for the Republican nomination. Live in Indian Hill, John London, WLWT News 5. John, what's an event without a little political finger pointing, right? I mean, the GOP obviously excited to raise some money for the guy that they want to be in the White House. What's the local Democratic Party saying about that? Well, uh, Mike, no surprise, they're not on the delighted list about what happened today. Chairwoman Gwen McFarlane blasted both Trump and Vance for, as she put it, chasing checks from multimillionaire donors, saying it's clear that Vance is working for one person and those who can afford to spend, as she put it, a year's salary on a lunch. John London, live for us tonight in Indian Hill. John, thanks so much.